the, the deal is with that is that um, these are the three inextricably linked components that are always making an individual what they are, creating their motivations, their behaviors, um, and generally in this industry we have focused a lot on the L, on the learning, right? On like what experiences have been for a dog, what experiences can be, how we teach them things, uh, and we tend to ignore, at least to some, if not a great degree, these components of the environment and the genetics. And again, to just kind of quickly sum up, every species on the face of the planet is exactly what it is because of these three pieces, okay? So, you take a given animal, like say a, a toad, okay, a little American toad or something, um, and uh, you think about, all right, why is the toad the way that it is? Why does it behave the way it is, that it does? Why does it look the way that it does? And it's because of thousands or millions of years, in the case of some species, of a history of these three elements, the environment that it lived in created the pressures and the circumstances that made the genetics learn and the end of, through the individuals. The individuals learn and then the genetics for generations are learning. And these three things are constantly playing off of each other for how do I survive? What works in these conditions? Okay? So when we talk about an individual, we can never get away from any one of these three. And it's really important to keep that in mind. Um, 